about pre-myopia? That's a new concept, you know, like pre-diabetes. How about pre-myopia? Yeah, pre-myopia is actually a really, really fun one. And that's why it's really, really important to get your three or four or five-year-olds checked and to get them checked regularly. So when we're talking about the delay of onset, just like pre-diabetes, we can intervene and we can intervene early and we can make changes before you become depend dependent on a medication to help with your blood sugar. Same thing with myopia. If we catch these kids early, we can intervene early. Talk about the outdoor time. Talk about the screen time. I felt sound like a broken record, right? Get outside, put your screens down. <laughs> Same thing. So we can even do some study. There's some studies going on that if we've got two myopic parents or we know that their sibling is actually myop myopic, we can start them on a drop a little earlier. So these are all things that are gonna come more mainstream as we see more studies come out about myopia. But the main thing, get your eyes checked, get them checked early. Um, my kid is actually falling into that category and I've been watching him really, really closely to intervene um, before he needs glasses. And that would actually be the goal. So when you go to the doc, the eye doctor, what are some of the tests they're going to do to determine whether or not you have myopia, you're nearsighted, and, what, and whether or not we could do something to prevent? That's a great question. So when we go to the eye doctor, we're checking a couple of things. Obviously, we're checking the prescription or the refraction is what we call it. That's when people are asking you one or two, which is better, which is everybody's favorite part of the eye exam, right? I'm just kidding. It's absolutely everybody's worst nightmare. Um, we lead you in the right direction. So when you're talking about a six-month-old or a three-year-old, I actually don't need their responses. So what I'm looking at is that the reflection that I'm getting in the retina and that feedback is what, I'm, what I can put in front of the eyes as far as the prescription is concerned. A way to, to, to describe what we're looking at is when you're driving at night and you shine a light in like a dog's eyes that's, that's being walked, right? You get that red reflex that the dog is looking back at you. We're looking at that reflex and that reflex tells us where the retina is falling. Is it in front? Is it on where it's supposed to? Or is it in the back? That's exactly what we're looking at. So a two, three or four year old, I don't need their responses at all. So to figure out what prescription they need. Same thing for adults, right, <laughs> Carrie? You can actually, we don't need your responses. We just kind of lead you in the right direction. But that's what we're trained to look at is that, actual, that reflex. 